it's Fia. So today we are going to talk about some things about life and this is going to be a sit down video because um, most of you know that I just turned 18 last June 14, 2020 and until now it doesn't really occur to me that I'm already 18 like an actual adult so I think there are things that I should share to you and I would love to share to you the things that I've learned so here are the 18 things that I've learned in my 18 years number one thing that I've learned well actually number 18 is that you should never look down on people so in my 18 years I've experienced that I really think that I'm better than everyone. As a kid, you will really, really think that you're better than other kids. In my 17 years, sometimes there are times that I think that I'm better than others and I tend to look down on them because I think I'm better than them and I think I'm smarter than them but it turns out that life isn't like that. You should continue to be humble in everything that you do because in that way you will succeed it says in first peter chapter 5 verse 6 to 7 humble yourselves then under god's mighty hand so that he will lift you up in his own good time leave all your worries with him because he cares for you so when you humble yourself before god he will be the one who will lift you up in that way you can be humble at the same time, you will be successful in everything that you do. So yeah. Number 17. Um, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt said this. And in every Barbie movie that I've watched, and in everything that, in every insecurity, my mom always says this, these things. Now, no one can like, make you feel inferior without your consent. Because as a kid growing up, I'm always chubby. Yeah, I'm also chubby right now, but and it it made me it made me insecure of how I look like. It lowered down my self-esteem, and my mom always tell me that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. You will never be insecure without those people telling you that you look fat, you look ugly, and you're not smart enough. But hey. It's, it's you. It's yourself. You can always be confident without anyone's approval. So, um, your opinions are yours. And you can always lean on to God. Because He will make you secure. Diba? Yeah, you will be safe under His wings. Okay, the next number, number 16. Cast your cares to God. And yeah, so I've experienced um, bullying before not major bullying but I felt really really down whenever people call me fat and this really bothered me like what I've said earlier it made me insecure so in that way I drew near to God and every every insecurity I gave it all to him and every bullying every thought that people said about me it's nothing because what matters is what god thinks of you and that what's important is that he cares for you and and he will be the one to strengthen you god is going to fight for you always remember that that god is always going to fight for you no matter what so cast your cares upon him and everything will go smoothly next is number 15 always honor your parents yeah, and so as a young person, um, you can never avoid na minsan may ka sa parents mo kasi inuutusan ka or sometimes you will get irritated because they keep on shouting and make you do things, do your chores and do your uh, part in the house and all you have to do is honor them and of course, you have to love them, not have, um, you will tend to love them if you understand that what they are doing is for you and that 
they're they are only disciplining you because they love you mm. that when you honor your parents you will have a long life it says in Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3 children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth diba it's so it's so beautiful law that you will have a long life in here on earth so you will have a full blessed life when you honor your parents yan sinasabi din yan sa SNL salt and light youth service yan tsaka sa service in COP it also says there na when you honor your parents it's proven and tested that you will have a long life when you honor them Tsaka siyempre, sabi ni Lord yun. Commandment yun, di ba? Next is, number 14. Always love your sibling. Treat them nicely and respect them. So, your sibling is your best friend. Um, you will always have them when you grow up. Sabay kayong mag-grow up eh. And your whole life, they have known you and they have cherished you and they are the one who is there. Whenever you're down and whenever you have problems, so always treat them nicely and always respect them because in your whole lifetime, you will have friends, of course, but in this life, you will always have your sister or your brother. They will always be there to support you in everything. So always be nice to your sibling, kahit na minsan nakakaano, nakakainis or nakaka-irrita or it ir they irritate you sometimes but then they are always there in your lifetime you can never remove them from your life because they are your siblings and that you should love them in every situation in every circumstances yung sibling mo lang ang laging nandiyan hindi yun hindi mo mapagpapalit yung sibling mo kasi kahit kanino because they are your blood diba so, yun. Okay, number 13. Um, choose your friends wisely. So, yan. Of course, growing up, uh, magkakaroon ka ng friends um, from kinder, middle school, and then, yeah, high school, of course. Um, dun makikila yung mga friends mo. But then, not every friend is a good friend. That instilled to me talaga. That not all friends are good friends for you. Sabi nga ni Pastor Somral, You are blessed when you have five friends on your hands. So, di ba? When you have five friends, yan, sa hands mo, na nabibilang mo, you are so blessed because you have them. When you grow up, as in, when you grow up, you are best friends talaga. That they are there to support you like your sister or your brother. But then, you have to choose your friends wisely. Because friends lead you sometimes astray. Friends, friends can give you wisdom. Like Christian friends, like my friends in church, in COP, like um, Isai, Maritoni, JC, hi, shout out, and Ali. Um, I'm so happy that they are my friends because they're always there no matter what happens in school, no matter what issues that um, comes in school, in church or whatever they are always there because they they know the Bible they know the words of God and that they will lift you up kapag down ka they will always lift you up friends can lead you astray and friends always change and if your friends change for the bad diba? if your friends change change friends yeah that's so easy there are many people that you will meet in life that are good for you and that they will lead you to the destiny that God has for you and always pray that you will have a good friend especially when of course like me I'm entering college and I don't know I I may not know people there I may not know um, good friends but then you can always pray for friends that um, you can always pray for right relationships that will come into your life. Diba? Pastor always tells us na 
tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. So, tama yung saying na ano, um, birds that flock together stay together and they are very much alike because they think alike and then they flock together and then they stay together and it turns out that they act the same. So, I've already experienced that. Um, in school, in church, I've already experienced many friends. I've already met so many people. Not many people, but students like me as well. Pero I can only say that when you pray for your friends, they are always the best friends. They will be the best friends that you will ever have in your entire life. I mean, pray for your friends, guys. Pray for your friends. Um, the right friends as you grow up, as you grow old. So, yeah! Number 12. Trust the right people. So, when you trust the right people, you will tend to grow in them. Trust the right people. Kasi, when you don't trust the right people, mapapahamak ka. I mean, like in the basic schoolwork, when you trust a bad not a bad person, the wrong person. Like in a thesis or a research paper, when you trust the wrong person, they will always put you down. They will, um, they will change their mind. Na they will try to put you down in any decision, in any um, idea that you have. They will always turn you down. Because, yeah. Kasi they're the wrong people. Yun lang. <laughs> Number 11. Never let people dictate your path. Yan. Kasi most people will always say na um, you shouldn't have decided for that. You shouldn't have gone for that decision, for that path. Eh, si Lord lang nakakaalam ng path natin. The Lord knows which path you will go and his will will always be the right path always so never let people dictate your path no matter what your relatives think no matter what your friends think no matter what um, professionals think whatever the lord has for you has in store for you go for it and always pray for god's will to be done in every decision that you make yes you may have plans you may have plans in life but the lord's plan will always be his plan and his plans are always perfect number 10 number 10 yeah number 10 if you have a plan just go for it yeah just go for it um for example when you plan to do an editing um, just go for it when you planned it do it because you you will tend to procrastinate you will tend to procrastinate and then eventually you will not do it because you're too lazy to do it like me <laughs> i'm always lazy to do stuff that i've planned for so the result is i didn't do it and I really regret it because I didn't do the things that I've planned, the brilliant plans that I, I've done. And it saddens me. And I, I didn't do it. And I didn't say it. I didn't um, suggest the plan that I was planning. And it turns out that I regret it. So yeah, yun lang. Okay, number nine. Always love yourself. Every and everything, always love yourself. And no matter what you look like, no matter failures, you should always love yourself because you only have yourself, and you only have yourself in your entire life. You will only have yourself and yourself and yourself. No matter what you look like, you should love yourself because you are made by God. You are made by God, and that you are created by His own image. And that is so beautiful and because we are all sons of God and we are created by his image and that is so beautiful right that you should love yourself because you love the Lord and you love yourself so yeah number eight 
always, 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 always read your Bible. Kasi all the wisdom is in the Bible. In every question, the Bible has an answer. God has an answer for every question that you have. Yun lang. Simple as that. Number seven. If people treat you badly, it's okay. It's totally okay. Because people's attitude is their own problem. It's not your problem because they, they are the one who has a problem with you. You don't have a problem with them. And then, it's their decision to hate you. Diba? It's their decision to hate you in the first place. So, never let that bother you. That's what I've learned when sometimes I have issues about stuff. They tend to hate me because I always say things about the Bible. I always say things about God's Word. And that's the truth. God's Word is the truth. And you always have to remember that their attitude and their belief also is their own business, right? Like, your business is yours and their business is theirs. So, yeah. It's like that. Number six. Aim for excellence and not mediocrity. That's what I've learned because um, for the past two years in senior high, I've always tend to go with the flow. Like, most people are aiming for honors. And then I just failed one subject like math. And then I got an 84. And then there's that. I didn't aim for the honors anymore because I failed in just one subject. I focused on that one subject and it let me down so badly that I didn't aim for excellence for the next semesters. But then you can still do your best. You can always do your best every single time. Yeah, that's what I've learned in AIM service. So you should also attend AIM campus service. Yeah, always aim for excellence, young people. Aim for excellence and not mediocrity because God always wants us to be the best and always be the head and not the tail. Yeah. So, number five, cleanliness matters. Yeah. Um, in studying, when I study, I always want my, my notes to be organized, my room to be organized. I want everything to be organized because an organized thing, an organized room, makes my thoughts organized as well. I cannot memorize anything without um, cleaning everything first. And that that is really very helpful. Clean my stuff first before I go study because it helps soothe me and helps me memorize more. So yeah, cleanliness always matters, not just in your room. Also in your stuff, also in your whole house, that you should always be clean because you will tend to bring this when you grow up, that you will not be clean because you get used to not being clean, you get used to messy stuff, and yeah, that's not nice, right? So number four, number four, um, also organization matters, it's just like that. Um, when you are organized, your thoughts will be also organized. For me at least. So that's what I've learned. And Yan, the next one. Number three. Time management matters. So um, some people know that I also work for our business. Um, basically, I'm, I'm a working student in our business, Caranza Photography. Oh yeah, and check our page. Yeah, um, I'm also a working student and I, medical student. Is that right? Yeah, medical student. Um, I'm also a medical student and a working student at the same time. So it's really very hard for me to manage my time, and um, there are lots of things that needs to be done, and there are things that are needed to be accomplished on time. On the due date, on the dot, as what people have said it. But then, but then, sometimes I'm always a procrastinator. By sometimes, I mean always. Yeah. 
So, it's really hard for me to do the backlogs of work and school. It's so hard to balance time. So, you always should manage your time. You should always calendar your time. Calendar your things to do. Because you will really forget things. We are not we are not computers that we remember everything, okay? So, we always should manage our time. Para everything will be neat, everything will flow smoothly and everything will go well with you and you will not you will not have hassle in things and you will not miss a thing miss a thing because you worked hard to organize your calendar and you manage your time wisely so in and even in hobbies you should always have time for some relaxation of course yeah so this thought leads to the next thought which is try to have a good sleep yeah because um sleep is really 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 a necessity when you are when you are doing lots of stuff because when you when you lack sleep you tend to slack when you lack sleep you slack so yeah it's not nice because you're not you're not really gonna accomplish anything because you're tired and then when you're tired you tend to eat so many food that you don't even need and then you get fat right it's so it's so frustrating and yeah you have to have a good sleep at least six to eight hours of sleep and that's enough yeah so lastly and the most important thing that you should be doing what I have learned in my entire lifetime in my entire lifetime is that always put God first and in everything that you do in the start of your day you should always put God first and always do your, your devo- vo- devotions first because everything will run smoothly talaga and I have proven and tested that that when you do your devotions first you will have a very very productive day that's very true and that you will be happy I mean happy happy joyful you will be joyful every single day when you have done your devotions and then when you talk to God because you when you talk to God you will know what to do you know you will know what attitude you will be having for the next day and for the next day and the other day and the next coming weeks yeah so always always put God first in your schedule don't forget the Lord because he establishes our plans and always go to church always do your devotions always pray because he will always be there and he promises that he will make you successful in the future so yeah that's what I've learned so guys those are the 18 things that I have learned in my 18 years I hope that this video will be helping you a lot in your studies in um, for the people for the teenagers specifically and I hope that I encouraged you to be a good young person to be an example to others as well to be a good um, servant of Christ number one and to be a good daughter, to be a good sibling, to be a good person in a totality. And I hope that this inspired you. And that I hope that you will also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, also check on our page, um, Karanza Photography, uh, The Sophia Secret. Yeah, and so I'm using this light ring light right now. And it's so good, right? I mean, it's so bright and it's so um, useful for vlogs like this and for your meetings and stuff. So yeah, I hope to see you soon and um, that I will be more productive for the years to come. And I pray that you will wish me a good, good years to come because I will be pursuing medicine. I will be pursuing BS nursing for the next year. I hope, I hope, I hope that I will get that 
that I will get that Latin honors in Jesus name Lord help me in Jesus name so yeah we'll see you next time bye